Number seven, West Virginia got the job done against Texas. A 2-1 victory over the Longhorns to improve to 3-1 and one, thanks to two goals in quick succession in the first half. Back inside our broadcast booth to wrap things up, Nick Farrell here with Adam Zundel. Adam, West Virginia needed to respond. Respond it did. Yeah, absolutely. A really good performance all over the field tonight. Got players to step up. You got the two goals. We're able to manage the game down the stretch and come away with those three points. So the Mountaineers goals by Jordan Brewster from the penalty kick spot and then another goal by Lauren Sagala that ultimately served as the game winner. We're going to be joined here by head coach Nikki Izzo-Brown, victorious for the Mountaineers for the 368th time. Coach, your reaction to tonight's victory and your thoughts on your team's play? It's so important for us to respond and get back in the winning uh, column after uh, that tough overtime, double overtime loss. I was really proud of, you know, how we came out and Lauren Segala getting that, you know, game winner. And that was just effort. That was just effort and hustle. And, you know, you just love to see that, um, that type of performance um, by Lauren and, and her ability to do that. But overall, uh, we had a lot of looks tonight. Uh, we should have finished a couple more, but that's a, that's a definitely a tough Texas team. With Coach Nikki Izzo-Brown, but Coach, you did get the win. Can you speak to Lauren Sagala's progress? You know her story after missing most of last season to finally get back and get a goal that served as the winner. Yeah, I mean, you know, all the, to get that monkey off your back, and I was just so happy for her, and she's just worked so hard to get back, and, and for her to be able to have this moment is something, uh, you know, we're really – we were really excited about not only as a staff but as a team. So it was uh, it was awesome for her. Coach, down the stretch, I thought you guys did a nice job of managing the game to come away with that victory. I know the stats were heavily in favor of West Virginia, but that doesn't really tell the story about how competitive it was, particularly down the stretch. Can you tell me about maybe some lessons learned from last week that helped you finish this one off here tonight? Well, you know, it was a very direct uh, Texas team in the second half. I mean, they're putting all sorts of pressure, you know, on our back line, and, and I thought we, we handled – um, you know, the second ball pretty well and just maintaining possession better and, and not putting ourselves in transition. So, you know, that's always tough uh, when that direct ball is coming. Um, and I thought our back line did better uh, than what we did at Oklahoma State. She's the victorious NIB head coach, Nikki Izzo-Brown. Congrats on the win and thanks for joining us. Thanks, you guys. Have All a good right. one. All right, Adam, let's take a look back at the numbers that made the difference for the Mountaineers tonight. Yeah, those goals in successions, we talked about it all night within a minute off from the penalty spot for Jordan Brewster. Then Laura Segal, her first goal of the season. And it looked like West Virginia was in control, but Julie Grosso for Texas got on the board. And who would have thought that the scoreline would have held after we saw all of those fireworks, but it did the rest of the way. Some good chances for both teams down the stretch. None of them went through. Some big saves there from Texas's Madden to keep that score at 2-1. to one. But West Virginia able to hold on and get those three points. So number seven, West Virginia moves to 3-1. and one. Texas falls to 1-3. and three. Mountaineers on the road next week at Texas Tech. Then back here at home against Baylor on the 16th. That game will be available right here on Big 12 Now on ESPN+. Plus. Saying farewell from Dick Delesk Soccer Stadium for Adam Zundel. I'm Nick Farrell. Mountaineers got the job done. 2-1 victory.